Hi there, this is Dr. Terry and welcome to Dr. Terry TV. In today's video, I want to share with you some tips on how to maximize your beauty sleep. Now, as we know, we all need sleep to stay beautiful. It's not called beauty sleep for nothing. Now, a few things happen when we sleep. Number one, we boost our growth hormones. And these hormones are very important to keep our skin firm and youthful. Number two, we calm our stress hormone cortisol down. So this will prevent breakouts, oily skin, and kind of sensitive skin as well. Number three, we boost our production of melatonin, which is a great light regulator. And it's also a powerful antioxidant, kind of repairing our skin from the day's free radicals. And lastly, our skin renews itself. So all the dead skin cells kind of shed and all the new skin cells kind of rise to the surface. So all that, you want to make sure it's maximized when we sleep. So how do you maximize your beauty sleep? So you wake up refreshed, acne free and youthful. So here are just some of my tips to maximize your beauty sleep. Number one, one and a half to two hours before your sleeping time, you want to switch off all digital devices. Now, this includes your laptops, your TVs, your mobile phones, or any, even any video games. Because the light that's emitted from these digital devices would actually trick our brain thinking that it's still daylight. So actually, our, our brain stays wired and it's difficult for us to sleep. Now, you want to take all your digital devices and put it outside your bedroom because then you don't have that remaining residual light from the battery or any notifications. Now, if you use your, your mobile phone as an alarm clock, you wanna switch it on to airplane mode and switch off the Wi-Fi so that you don't get any notifications or messages in the middle of the night. Once you've done that, go and get ready for bed. You know, you can have a nice hot bath, hot shower. You can use your favorite kind of um, milk bath, for example, from Elemis, Milk and Jasmine uh, milk bath, or add a few drops of oil in your bath, example, lavender or rosehip oil in your bath to help to relax you. Once you finish your bath or your shower, you want to start on a relaxing massage. If you have somebody else to do it for you, that's even better. But if you're on your own, that's fine. You have to do it. So you want to use some relaxing oils, for example, lavender, sweet almond oil or orchids, which really has a really nice and relaxing um, feel to it. Now, if you don't like oils, you can smother yourself in your favorite creams. Um, I love um, the Epoch Body Butter and that's really, really nourishing and really relaxing as well. Now, once your body is nicely nourished and your skin is nicely nourished, then you can get into your comfy jammies. And before you get into your room, make sure the lights are dim because, you know, you, you just came out of a nice hot bath and you're nice and relaxed. And if you go into a bright room, you're just going to wake up again. So make sure your, your lights are dim. Now, before you go to bed, you might want to have a, a nice um, calming tea example, like relaxed tea from Yogi Tea, and which has a combination of linden flowers, chamomile, and rose hips, which helps to calm the nerves down. So you can drink it or slowly drink it, but you can drink it while you're reading or you're journaling before you, you go to bed. If you're like me and your brain's always working and it's difficult to go to bed, you can also add you know, a few sprays of relaxing pillow mist, for example from La Ossetane, which contains a, a beautiful blend of lavender, bergamot, mandarin, you know, geranium. That really helps to, to calm the nerves down as well and, and just have, you know, help you drift off to dreamland, really. If you're really stuck and can't get rid of that, mind chatter at night time, you can you know, put an eye mask, stick some earplugs or even put on your favorite um, meditation music which will hopefully drown out the, the voices in the head that keeps us awake at night time. So these are just a few of my tips to maximize your beauty sleep. I hope you found this video useful. Do let me know if any of these um, tips help you. I would love to hear from you to hear your tips on what you find works to maximize your own beauty sleep. Until next time, stay beautiful, sweet dreams, and see you real soon in Dr. Carrie.